Hawaii's Kilokano erupted for the third time this year. Washington, Reuters. Kilauea volcano on Hawaii's Big Island began erupting on Sunday afternoon, with flows currently confined to the floor of the surrounding crater. The U.S. Geological Survey, USGS, said on Sunday. Webcam images show cracks in the base of the volcano's crater producing lava flows on the surface of the crater floor. The Hawaii Emergency Management Agency wrote in the eruption was preceded by a period of strong seismicity and rapid peak elevation, according to the USGS. The agency upgraded Kilauea's flight color code from orange to red as it evaluates the volcanic eruption and moves the warning from watch to warning. Located in the closed area of Hawaii Volcanoes National Park, Kilauea is one of the most active volcanoes in the world. In 2019, a series of earthquakes and a major eruption in Kilauea caused the destruction of hundreds of homes and businesses. Hawaii's Kilauea volcano, one of the world's most active, erupted again on Sunday, spewing a fountain of lava more than 80 feet 24 meters, into the air. Footage from the U.S. Geological Survey shows how the event unfolded over several hours. The eruption does not pose a lava threat to the public, but volcanic particles and gases could cause respiratory problems for people exposed, the Hawaii Emergency Management Agency said. The alert level at Kilauea, one of the world's most active volcanoes, was downgraded Monday with no threat to infrastructure and no threat of significant ash emissions into the atmosphere outside the restricted area of Hawaii Volcanoes National Park. The downgrade came one day after the volcano it has begun erupting again, according to the Hawaiian Volcano Observatory. In June, Kilauea erupted for several weeks, releasing fountains of red lava without threatening any communities or buildings. Crowds flocked to Hawaii Volcanoes National Park on the Big Island, which offers safe views of the lava. The eruption is currently confined to the Kilauea caldera within the park. The observatory said it did not see any indication of activity migrating elsewhere on Kilauea volcano and expects the eruption to remain confined to the summit area. Mike Zoller, a geologist at the observatory, said in an email Monday that the eruption represents a continuation of long-term unrest at Kilauea's peak that occurred in late 2020 but the eruption does not indicate an escalation of unrest beyond levels that have already occurred since a long time ago. Kilauea, Hawaii's second largest volcano, erupted from September 2021 to last December. In 2018, the Kilauea eruption destroyed more than 700 homes.